Hello, my name is Annabelle Schaefer, and I'm going to teach you how to properly use sign language. Now, I'm going to start off this video is using the right signs. Now, what I mean by this is you need to always make sure that you're using the right signs. Like, you could ask a sign language teacher if you know one, or someone who you know uses sign language. Then they could tell you the right signs, or you could look up many multiple websites that have the signs, and you could compare them to then see which one looks the best or you feel is the right sign. Now, what not to do is, as you can see here, this is this, what sometimes people will do when they're using a B sign language. They'll have their fingers flaming out like that, but you want to have it closed like this. Otherwise, they'll think you're talking about a 4, not a B. So just make sure you keep your hands nice and tight and make sure you're doing the right signs. Also, what you want, want to do is to have emotions. Like right here, you can tell she looks very sick just by looking at her face. You can, Even though if you don't know the sign, you can tell she looks sad or sick just because of her emotions. You don't want to be like this guy just staring at because that's just really creepy and that's not the right way to go. Now something else that you do not want to do is when you're trying to get someone's attention that may be deaf, you do not want them to grab them on the shoulder because then they will be startled and feel like you're trying to hurt them or kidnap them as this girl looks. So when you're trying to get someone's attention, you really want to just tap them on the shoulder. Just It's very polite and it's very light tap just to make sure that they're okay and you just want to get their attention. When you do not know a sign, what you can do is when if you want to know what a like what a monkey sign is, you don't know a sign for it, you just act out what a monkey would do, like obviously what this guy is doing. So then maybe the person that you're signed to, you can ask them what the real sign is, and then they could give you the sign. So you could just do that. Now this is the end of my video, and I hope you at least learned something from what I was saying, and yeah.